We are entering this 25 year anniversary moment with amazing excitement and enthusiasm and just great anticipation. We are well prepared for our years ahead and we are open to where it could take us. We're dreamers. We want to keep dreaming. The impact that Solidarity Bridge has had in Bolivia is significant, not only in the professional realm, but also the human part. Our main objective is to, of course, build capacity so that more medical professionals here in Bolivia can reach their fellow citizens. We really want to remove the barriers to healthcare, and increasing capacity is the, is the path forward for that. The full collaboration that we've received from the Foundation has made it possible to enact certain services. Our surgical area is functioning thanks to your collaboration. We've also been able to cover some gaps through the donations we've received. For example, last year, thanks to intermediations by the Foundation, our hospital received the portable x-ray machine. Offering this service is a great benefit to our local patients and others who come here from neighboring municipalities, or otherwise would have to travel all the way to Cochabamba. Puente de Solidaridad and Solidarity Bridge have had an enormous impact throughout these 25 years. They have supported and trained doctors in distinct specialties and subspecialties that did not exist in Bolivia when Solidarity Bridge began this work. Our nurses are now perfectly well trained in how to use the instruments, and we now have advanced protocols in place in the ICU for how to continue to care for neuro patients after surgery. We understand the most common complications and how to treat them. We did not achieve this alone, and it didn't happen overnight. It has been years of work, years of meetings, years of trainings. We have traveled as a team to the U.S. to see how you do things. We hope that this will grow that our people learn how to do things to the best level possible. Not for recognition, not for higher pay, but because there is a higher being who sees us, who oversees everything, and will provide us with what we need. We will never want for anything. When the Puente de Solidaridad said, yes, we will help you, I said, wow, we did it. I had Pedrito when I was 20. We lived in the city of La Paz. They detected that I had heart failure or a heart murmur. I didn't understand very well what a murmur was. Two weeks passed and we came back for another appointment. They gave us various tests and that's when the doctor looked at me and said, look, your son has a difficult situation in his heart. It's a murmur that could cost him his life if we don't treat it. We were young, Pedro's father and I. We didn't have resources. Just to travel and figure out where to stay while we sought care, that was already a big cost for us. But Pedro's health came first. We brought him to the Belga hospital and they ran the tests again and confirmed that he needed open heart surgery. According to the doctors, the statistics indicate that around 2,500 children are born each year with a congenital heart defect in Bolivia. Of these, only 500 access cardiac surgery. We don't know what happens with the rest. When Pedro turned 14, the doctor told me that he would need another surgery, and they had to place a new valve. He told us this, and I started to search for help, to ask because I wasn't going to be able to cover the cost that the hospital told me. A friend told me, why don't you visit Puente de Solidaridad? They help. For me, this was a great source of hope. Central to our mission is helping patients overcome barriers. We know that there are geographic barriers, there are economic barriers, and our aim is to make their pathway to access the care that they need clear as possible. Pedro came out of surgery and it's just that God gives you 
the opportunity to enjoy more time with your son, to move forward in life. I am very grateful. Tengo 25 años ahora. And I am a 25 year old now. I am studying business engineering. All the changes in my body, both psychological and mental and cognitive, have directly helped my academic training and my professional training and well, also in my personal development in the future. Gracias a ustedes y a través de ustedes a los donadores. Thank you to everyone, to the donors, and all of the community of solidarity that unites with Bolivia through Solidarity Bridge. I want to thank you all donors and partners of Solidarity Bridge. Uh, thank you so much to change my life. We are so excited about this 25 year moment. We have deep gratitude for all that has been. We have immense hope for all that lies ahead. Thank you. Thank you everyone for getting us to this point. And please stay with us as we move forward. We are dreamers and our dreams are coming true.